Are you a small business owner and you want to learn how to run profit and loss statements in QuickBooks Online? Then you are in the right place. I'm so excited to share this tutorial with you. Make sure to stay till the end because I'll be showing you different ways that you can modify the report. If you're just wanting to know how to run it, then I'll definitely show you that really quickly. But I'll also show you different ways to change it so that it can be even more useful for you and so you can do even more analysis that will help you to make smart business decisions. Before I get to the tutorial, just want to introduce myself. My name is Melanie Bledsoe. I'm a CPA with the heart of a teacher, and I help small business owners not to be surprised by tax time. And if you feel like you learned something from this video, I would love it if you gave a thumbs up. All right, now let's get to the tutorial. All right, so to run a profit and loss report, you go to reports. If it's not already saved in your favorites, then you can simply type in pro and it'll pull it up. Or you can just scroll down to the business overview section and you'll see a bunch of different profit and loss reports. So in this video, I'm just going to focus on the main one, but I'm going to show some modifications and it may end up being these different types of reports that you see here. One thing to note is that I am using the sample company, which is a QuickBooks Online Plus subscription. So if you don't have that level, then you may not have access to all of these features that I'm going to show you. So if you haven't already, make sure to check out my video explaining the profit and loss report, because in this video, I'm just running the report. I'm not explaining the different aspects of it. So for the sake of this example, I'm just going to use this year which will pull in the entire year even though we're only to March as of the recording of this video and I'm gonna leave it on totals I'm not gonna compare any periods and I always change the accounting method to cash that's just habit if your business is on the accrual method then you will make sure to leave it as accrual alright so this is just the basic profit and loss report you can just see that it has the income at the top and then all of the expenses at the bottom and it lets you know if there's a loss or a profit. Okay, let's make some variations. So one thing I'd like to do is instead of just doing the totals, I would like to show this report by quarter. And let's see how that looks. So since we're in March, it's only going to show Q1 or the first quarter. The rest of these are empty because we haven't gotten there yet. But this is a great report to run if you are trying to evaluate the business at the end of the year or maybe even at the beginning of the year if you're just trying to create some projections for the business. You can kind of see how it's performing on a quarterly basis. Next, I want to show by month, but since we only have three months, I'm going to change this to just the quarter, and then I will do months, just so that it shows January, February, and March. And so this is a great report to run if you want to see the trend month over month. And if you have a full year of data or even more, then you can see more information. Uh, it's a great way to also budget, but then also to see if you have seasonality in your business. So maybe, for the example, this sample company is supposed to be a landscaping business. So most likely they're going to be busiest in the spring and maybe the early fall or the summer and then it will taper off or not be as busy in the winter time. And they would want to plan for that seasonality, meaning that they want to make sure that all of their costs, especially if they have monthly costs, are covered all throughout the year, even if their revenue is fluctuating in certain months. Now let's look at this report by week. So if you want to look at it in even more detail, I would say select a month and then you would want, and let's do last month because this probably won't have much data for March. So let's say last month and then we'll look at weeks. So you can see by each option you can get more granular into the details. And if I want to go even further I can say last week and then I can look at it by day. So these are all the different ways you can run this report. Let's go back to just looking at this year and I want to now do customers. 
So the great thing about this report is if you're looking at it by customer, you'd be able to see which customer is bringing in the most revenue. Most likely that's what you're wanting to look at. Unless you have associated um, expenses, which this business does not, then you'd be focused. Oh, it has a little bit. Okay. Well, let's focus a little bit on the net income then since there's a little bit of expense there, some job expenses it looks like. Um, but mostly you're just looking at the gross profit. Okay, so now I've minimized this report so that we can just see the main categories here and assess the business based on the customer. So if we're looking at it on a customer level, it looks like Cool Cars brings in the highest net income. So with that knowledge, this business owner may want to focus more on cool cars maybe there's a way that they can continue to upsell them since they're already bringing in the most revenue or they can turn their attention to the least revenue producing customer and say to their sales team hey this rev this customer here pies cakes and red rock diner they're actually losing us money what's going on here maybe we need to up the sales or maybe we need to drop them as a customer Okay, now I've run this report by products and services, and so this is an income item. You'd be able to see which product or service is bringing in the most revenue. So, SOD seems to have the highest net income and the highest gross profit, and so that may mean for the business owner that they would want to focus more on this product or they would want to also look at it from the other perspective and say, ooh, sprinkler pipes, losing money here. Is this something we should continue offering to customers or should we completely get rid of this line of revenue because we're actually losing money? So if we go back to the report listing, there are some that I didn't show you in this video. We got the profit and loss detail, a profit and loss year to date comparison uh, where you can compare it to prior years. If you'd like to see more variations of the profit and loss report, then leave a comment in the comment section that you'd like to see more. And I'll totally do a video that goes even into more detail about the profit and loss report. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!